right guys, today we're going to talk about edging, how to edge your yard uh, with a weed eater, using a weed eater. Some people call it a weed whacker, some people call it a trimmer, some people call it a string trimmer. Other countries have different names for it, but here your standard string trimmer. Right off the bat, I want to make a public service announcement. I take the shield off. I do not recommend that you take the shield off. It will void the warranty of your machine. Also, uh, debris coming off, the shield helps protect you helps protect others and helps protect property. My recommendation to you guys, leave the shield on and get used to it if you can. A couple things I want you guys to pay attention to. When you're weed eating, the, the rotation of your weed eater head is always this way. Now I don't know um, if in Australia it rotates the other way like the toilets flushed backwards. Do they? I don't know. Anyways, every weed eater I ever use from Echo, Husqvarna, um, Choi Built to Steel, the weed eater rotate counterclockwise okay um, this would be your 12 o'clock position your 3 o'clock this would be your 1 2 o'clock position this would be your 10 11 o'clock position when I talk about weed eating sometimes I'll talk about your positions okay um, so if you're weed eating along forward and you're hitting it with the 2 o'clock position as you're moving this way then you're hitting it right here and the grass is blowing out that way you're not sending debris back if you are hitting it going this way and you're hitting it with the nine o'clock position then all the debris is going to go back on you that's just directional weed eating that's just stuff to know comes into play with edging so when you're edging and you have your edger upside down like this the, the head is going this way all right that means all your debris is blowing out that way as you're edging so with that said be very careful of windows your shield here ain't really gonna make a difference because it's kicking out at the 12 o'clock position it's kicking out this way which upside down is now the six o'clock position in the crack it's kicking out that way you're gonna break windows you're gonna damage cars you're gonna hit people you're gonna hit your helpers you're gonna hit your trailer so you gotta be very very careful with which side of the grass you're gonna stand on and here's an example if you're edging like this it's gonna be blowing everything out that way behind as you go okay now if you're edging like this it's going to be blowing toward the camera toward the your monitor right now as I'm edging this way so you need to be very careful of that when you're when you're weed eating or edging along you need to know which way your debris is going okay so that's my PSA that's my number two PSA keep your shield on know which way the debris is blowing all right you're gonna have sticks twigs big pieces of grass like the runners of grass you're gonna have possible pebbles rocks stuff like that asphalt coming out uh, loose asphalt it's gonna come flying out if you're not careful so that's something to be really careful of now there's two ways to edge you can be edging on this side which helps put a bit of a exaggerated angle here but it helps put a bit of an angle on the grass. Some people like that little taper, okay? You can also edge this way, which takes the angle out, and you run along, right along your sidewalk, just like that. How do I prefer it? I prefer to do it from the sidewalk or the asphalt side, like this, because it's easier to walk. I don't have to worry about tripping over sprinklers. I don't have to worry about garden hoses. I don't have to worry about anything like that. Um, so that's how I prefer it. Now, if you got really, really thick, tall grass, you might need to come onto the grass side and edge to get the angle a little bit so you don't have grass growing up and over and then you miss it because you're coming at this way but the grass is this way and you kind of miss that the top little hairs of grass. That's all something you gotta figure out on your own depending on the thickness of the grass. Um, and then, there's, I'm sorry, I'm a little bit winded because I did a 10K this morning. Um, now, uh, I'll run. Now, the only other thing that really is important is when you're edging normal grass that's been serviced regularly and when you're, and when you're working on grass that has not been serviced regularly and you got to do kind of like a cleanup. It's two different total animals. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to demonstrate with camera two, I'm going to demonstrate edging from the grass side and I'm going to demonstrate edging from the sidewalk side 
The important thing to remember is you got to hold your weed eater how you're comfortable. What I do is I just flip it over and use my thumb as the throttle and, and I just hold it. You know what I'm saying? I'm just, I'm comfortable and I'm, I hold it. All right. Some people are like this when they edge. Um, I can't do that. I'm not very comfortable like that. But some people do that. They edge like this. That's fine. However you're comfortable, stick with that and just get your technique down with a simple twist or rotation. You can make your crack more pronounced or less pronounced and you can get the angle a little bit more or less of your weed eater head. So like this or you can come like this and you see how the weed eater head is now angled a little bit over the grass. If I step out here, see the weed eater head is now not. And if I'm over here, again, it starts to pull it back, but you start getting into the way of the debris. The debris starts kicking on you. So if you're on the sidewalk, you can come a little bit closer to the grass and you see what the weed eater's doing? See how the head is ro rolling toward the grass? Now you got that 45 degree angle, not 45, but just the same as if you're walking on the grass. The difference is, I'm not walking on the grass. If I was walking on the grass, I risk tripping. If I'm on the sidewalk like this, I can go, and I can just get a little bit closer to the grass and I can edge on an angle just like that. Kind of makes sense. It's all technique. It's all stuff you got to work on. I'm going to show you real fast how to do it. Then we're going to go do a, a quick little edge on a nasty yard. So let's fire it up. Let's see what we got. So you see from both sides, either from the grass side or from the sidewalk side, you can make it look good. There's no, it's, it's all gonna be up to you and what you're comfortable with. But that's just edging normal grass uh, that's regularly serviced. Let me show you what it's like to do one that's not so great. Look at this nasty stuff. Look at this grown way over. You see this? If you wanna edge this, you're gonna, you're gonna go through a lot of weed eater line. You're gonna have a hard time trying to find the crack and you're gonna spend a little extra time trying to do it. Let me show you guys a quick trick. This is how I do it. First, I go for the undergrowth. And what I do is, using about, we discussed it earlier, around a two o'clock position of my weed eater head, I'm gonna come in here and I'm gonna clean up the undergrowth first. Once I clean up the undergrowth, then I can come over, do a quick flip, and I can edge. And I'll, I'll be able to find a crack pretty quick. All right, let me show you that. Now, hopefully I didn't break any of my cameras, but first I got the undergrowth. Now, a quick look. And it's nice and clean. Now let me show you how much harder it is to not do the undergrowth first. Right off the bat, I can't find the crack. Okay, yeah, forget that. That's garbage. Watch. <laughs> So now 
now is able to find it a lot quicker. If you had to do that to the whole yard, if you have to do that to this whole sidewalk, that's a lot. <laughs> that's how I do overgrown grass with the weed eater when I'm edging overgrown yards. Um, I'll try to find the undergrowth first. Even if I use my edger blade on the stick edger, I still weed eat first if it's real bad and I try to clean off the undergrowth and then I'll attack it with the edger blade. Uh, so that's the deal there. So I hope this helps you guys give you a little bit of confidence on how to tackle some of your, your daily chores uh, if you're a homeowner. And if you're a pro, a uh, lawn guy, and you're starting out a business or something, and you're curious, you know, can you do this with just a weed eater and not buy an edger? Yes, you can. You can do it. You can get it done. You can start your business out. And that's just a couple of little tricks that I've done that I picked up over the years. So hope I helped you guys out. And uh, I will see you guys on the next one.